Hello everyone, I'm Marina and it's a Cremel School. A girl with such nails came to me. She wanted to have an extension, but her nail tech refused to do it. Let's figure out if the nail tech did the right thing. What can you see in a photo? The nails are red near the free edge. The black lines are broken vessels. The nail peels off and the peeling goes higher. On the middle finger, we can see a part of the nail bed. These are the facts that tell us that there was a nail plate burn. It can be chemical and thermal. A chemical burn may be caused by aggressive detergents or a cleanup without gloves. High acidic gel polish bases can also cause burns. It doesn't have to be cheap gel polish or poor quality material. There are also expensive ones which can result in the following effect if applied heavily to thin, weakened, over-filed nails. It can cause skin redness and itching around the nail. You may want to scratch it. The symptoms can appear a bit later, after two or three hours. The nail may start peeling the next day. A chemical burn has a cumulative effect. The client may wear gel polish for a long time, but one day these symptoms will appear. A thermal burn of the nail plate occurs if you use a base high in photo initiators, and it burns a lot when cured in the lamp, especially if it is a high-powered U-generation lamp. If you see that the client initially has thin nails, use low-temperature base coat. Don't apply such a thick aligning layer and use a low power mode on your lamp. Warn your clients not to tolerate burning and get their hand out so the molecular bonding process could stop. Thermal burn symptoms appear immediately. One of the results of chemical and thermal burns is onycholysis. Onyco means a nail, lysis to decay. Collagen bones decay between the nail plate and the nail bed. We can see a dip under the nail, but the nail itself does not change its structure. It does not chip. There may also be both chemical and thermal burns at the same time, when one has accumulated and the other appeared from the heat. What can a nail aesthetist do then? A nail tech who does not treat nail and skin diseases. Remove the free edge and reduce the chance of mechanical damage. Remove air pockets to avoid any infection. Pockets are a perfect place to grow bacteria. Make a hygienic manicure and remove the cuticle. What you can't do is picking the nails, covering them with artificial materials, extending or prosthesis, and prescribing treatment or medication. My model is lucky, the nail is not peeling that much. There are way more serious cases. Did you get it at the nail tax or was it a beauty salon? And what did you get, an extension or a gel? And for how long have you been getting an extension? How many times have you got a correction? And how long have you been wearing your nails? So you've been wearing your nails for two years and you've removed the coating just now and the nails started to peel off like this. Did you feel burning while curing in the lamp? Tolerating, yeah, I see. Of course, burning shouldn't be tolerated and it could have led to the peeling that we can see now on the free edge. What about the corners? To peel at the ends? Didn't you pick something with your nails? Didn't you scrape the pants with your nails? So your nails were strong before. Okay, now we are going to help my model with this problem and transform the nails 
doing what the nail tech can do, not a doctor. Now I'm going to do a manicure with a safe drill bit. Let's shape the free edge and remove the pockets. I'm processing the lateral fold using a blue cone diamond bit. In the forward position, the speed is 15 to 17,000 RPM, I process the left lateral fold. Switch in the rotation direction and process the right lateral fold in the reverse position. I'm cutting the cuticle with scissors and polishing it with a sphere drill bit. I should process a hangnail correctly. I work up to it with a bit, pass it by and work behind it. I'm working with a sphere bit at low RPM, literally 5 to 7000. I'm not staying in one place for too long to avoid burning. I remove the free edge with a soft file. I'm going to use a diamond drill bit at a low speed for the nails with onycholysis and big pockets. A complete cleanup will be done by a podiatrist. I recommend my model to contact a podiatrist for further nail repair. If the nails look worse, begin to thicken, change their color to green, brown or yellow. We can refuse to provide a service according to the new standards. We recommend the client to see a podiatrist who deals with such issues or a mycology dermatologist. The doctor will take the right tests for various diseases, prescribe the medication and help with the treatment. Unfortunately, since the advent of gel polishes and UV lamps that cure faster, the nail techs have to face more and more problems like the nail plate burn. Follow safety measures, check the initial condition of the nails and work carefully. If you liked the video, give a thumbs up. Let your client's nails always be healthy and beautiful. Success in your work! Bye-bye!